Hi, I'm Brian Hagen, gemologist and lapidary for Sinclair Jewelry, and I'm going to talk a little bit about garnets. Garnets are, of course, the birthstone for January, and it's been that way for a long time. Garnets have a very deep history with jewelry. Archaeologists have discovered garnets and jewelry in Egypt that date back to 3100 BC, so we've got a good 5,000 years of using garnets and jewelry. And Traditionally, garnets, especially as a birthstone, are red. And really, that's not always necessarily the case. Garnets come in all colors. And in fact, uh, in 1998, they discovered blue garnets, which many people will tell you there are no blue garnets, but that is not true. They found some in Madagascar. Uh, and also another development with garnets back in 1974 were the sovereite, the green grossular garnets in Africa. And uh, these are both some really astounding developments with the world of garnets and opens the door to a lot of possibilities when making jewelry, especially for people who like to have garnets on their on, in January for their birthstone. You've got every color out there. So uh, I'd also like to share a little bit of information that maybe some other people don't talk about when discussing garnet as a birthstone. And just two little things that I pulled up is, uh, first of all, the blue garnets, like I was talking about before. One of the top 10 most expensive gemstones in the world was a color change blue garnet that sold for, if I recall correctly, $2,000 per carat. It's pretty incredible. We also have, in 2006, discovered the largest sovereite that was gemstone quality. And by gemstone quality, I mean it was clear, transparent, so that it could be faceted into a, a stone appropriate for jewelry. And uh, that sovereite, this green garnet, was 185 grams, and about the size of the palm of my hand. It's pretty impressive. Now, there's also a lot of other really big garnets out there, but when you have just this rock, there's no real shape or, or form, uh, that's one thing, but if you have a crystal that's very well formed, has all the appropriate faces and, and facet junctions and everything in the crystal structure, that's something else. And one of the most astounding stories is the Coons Garnet, which was actually discovered in 1885 in, get this, the New York City sewers. They were excavating in the sewers, and one of the workers came across a vein of minerals, and in that vein was this beautiful, well-formed garnet. And I have a picture of both the sovereite. I'm going to show you the picture of the sovereite I was talking about a second ago. There you can see the rough form and the final faceted gemstone. And then the Coons Garnet. Beautiful, beautiful, well-formed stone. It was uh, eventually purchased by Mr. Coons, who it's named after. And it's frequently referred to as the Subway Garnet because of its extraordinary location where it was found. And uh, that garnet, this one right here, nine pounds and 10 ounces. It's heavier than a lot of babies. It's pretty awesome. It measured 15 centimeters across. There we go, 15 centimeters, about six inches. It's a pretty big rock. So, that is 
just two examples of some of the really incredible things that happen with garnets. There's also, uh, as I mentioned earlier, one of the most expensive garnets was a color change stone. We'll be talking about color change in another video. Thanks very much for joining me for this, and I'm going to wrap up the video by showing you a couple of the garnets that we have at Sinclair Jewelry, and also from my personal collection. Um, so we're going to look at a couple of stones right now, and we're going to start with a particular type of garnet, the Hessenite garnet, and this is a cabochon made of Hessenite. I'm just going to tilt the light so you can see the color through the garnet. Hessenites are not known for being especially clear, but they do make very nice cabochons. This translucent one is, is very nice. We have another rough Hessenite right here. So you see, this is what the rough stone would look like before it's cut. Another type of garnet that I have today is the rhodolite. And I'm going to start with showing by showing you this. This is a specimen piece from my personal collection. It's not a gemstone at all, really. I wouldn't use this in jewelry, but it is a very nice piece showing the flat faces and the junctions where the crystal grows. Here we also have a piece of rough that at some point I will be faceting and turning it into a gemstone for use. We also have a small collection here of garnets that I will be working on. Small collection. Okay. Small collection. <laughs> and, and these are fantastic. They have a very nice purple color to them. Purple color component, if we can get that on the video. And this is just some of the, the stones that I'll be faceting so that we can use them in the jewelry here at Sinclair Jewelry. You can see there, there's a variety of sizes. And let's see if I can get one that has a nice color to it. We can kind of see the color a little bit on the paper. That's one of the ways that you can tell the color of a gemstone before it's cut, is seeing what color it casts on white paper. And that gives you an idea of the, the color inside of the stone. So there's that. And then finally, my favorite are the sovereites, which are a type of green garnet. And uh, the garnet is, sovereites are a type of grossular. This actually is not a sovereite, but it is a grossular garnet. This is another specimen. And you see it's, it's got a very nice, slightly yellowish green color, but very well formed. So there's a grossular, green grossular. And now we have some rough sovereites. And these are not transparent, but they could be cabbed. But I do have some tr transparent sovereite that I plan on faceting at some point for Sinclair Jewelry. And then a last, but certainly not least, a couple of small trillions. <laughs> cat. Oh, we have a cat. <laughs> Hi, Pasha. <laughs> And Let's see if I can zoom in on these little guys because they're very, very pretty. I can pick one up. Oh, there we go. So there Ooh. is. Let's see how close I can get. One of the sovereites that I have. So. 
beautiful, beautiful green color. And really, if I'm if I'm looking for a green gemstone, a lot of people will say, "Oh, emerald is the best." But uh, emeralds are are great. Don't get me wrong. I really, really love emeralds. But sovereites, sovereites are something special. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching.